let's take a look at setting up our workspace. At the top of the screen, we'll find our toolbars. The default toolbar that SketchUp starts with is the Getting Started toolbar, which gives us access to our basic tools, as well as things like the Extension Warehouse and 3D Warehouse, as well as access to our profile. If we'd like to add another toolbar, find an empty grey space, right click and choose another toolbar. I'm going to choose the Views toolbar. This toolbar gives me access to different preset views across my model. I can drag this toolbar and place it into that grey space. And I can reposition these toolbars as I see fit. These toolbars can be placed at the top of the screen, but also at the side of the screen, or at the bottom of the screen. Because I'm on a wide monitor, I'm going to keep my toolbars at the side. Over on the other side of the screen, we'll find the tray. The tray has different areas that perform different functions. For example, we have our materials tray, which allows us to choose and apply materials to objects within our model. We have the components tray, which shows us components we have inside our model and allows us to place them. And we'll find other things such as the tags area, and very importantly, if you're new to SketchUp, the Instructor Area. The Instructor Area gives us information about the currently selected tool, tells us how to use it and gives us some tips. The trays can be expanded or collapsed with the arrows on the left-hand side here. They can also be removed altogether from our tray by clicking the crosses. To bring the trays back, I head up to the Windows area here. I choose the default tray and I choose the trays that I would like to show inside my default tray. For this tray, I'm going to pick Entity Info and Outliner. I'm also going to choose the tags. And this is going to be a tray that I use for organizing my model. We can actually create multiple trays. Come to the tray area up here, choose new tray. I'm going to call this next tray Materials and Style. And inside this tray, I'm going to have Materials and Styles. I'll click Add we now have two switchable trays. This means that we can have quick access to multiple things whilst maintaining a usable amount of space.